Hello friends, this video on playing with numbers part 7 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So now we will look at some categories of number or some types of numbers based on their factors. Now we learn, understood the concept of factors. Now looking at how different numbers have different uh, sets of factors, we will categorize them into different types. So what are these different types? We will talk about prime numbers, we will talk about composite numbers. So let us look at what are prime numbers. The word prime, prime means something which is like important, which is primary. So that those are the places where we use the word prime. Now these are those numbers whose only factors are 1 and the number itself. Now as we have noticed that for every number if we try to find out their factors we will see that 1 is always a factor of that number and we also see that the number itself is also a factor of that number. Now if we come across a number where the only factors are 1 and the number itself that is there are no other factors than these two then those numbers are called prime numbers. That's interesting, right? So let us look at some examples of prime numbers. Think of 2. So if I ask you to write down the factors for 2, 2 can be written as 1 into 2 and 2 into 1. So basically it has two factors, 1 and 2. So 1 and the number itself. So 2 is a prime number. Similarly, let's consider another number 23. So 23 can be written as 1 into 23, 23 into 1. You cannot write it in any other way. So that proves that it has only two factors, 1 and the number itself. Think of 5. 5 also has two factors, 1 and 5. And that is why 5 is also a prime number. What about 7? 7 also can be written either as 7 into 1 or 1 into 7 which shows that it has two factors 1 and itself. So therefore all of these are examples of prime numbers. So then what are composite numbers? So composite numbers are exactly those numbers which are not prime. So basically these are numbers with more than two factors. That means these numbers will have one as a factor, the number itself as a factor plus some other factors. So let's quickly look at some examples. Let us consider four. What about four? How many factors it has? Four can be written as one into four, two into two, 4 into 1. So basically it has 1, 2 and 4 as factors. So 1 and the number itself plus it has one additional factor that is 2. Therefore this is a composite number. Think of 6. So 6 can be written as 1 into 6, 2 into 3, 3 into 2, 6 into 1. So basically it has 1, 2, 3, 6 as the factors. So you see other than 1 and itself it has 2 more factors that is 2 and 3. So now when you look at the series of numbers starting from 1. So what are the numbers that we come across? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 and so on. Now from 1 to 10 can you tell me which one is prime and which one is composite? Now let us start from 2. We saw that 2 is a prime number. 3, 3 is also a prime number because 3 is divisible only by 1 and 3. 4 is not a prime number so 4 is a composite number. 5 is again a prime number. 6 is a composite number. 7 is a prime number. 8 is a composite number. What about 9? 9 is a composite number because 9 has multiple factors like 1, 3, 9. So 9 is again a composite number. 10, 10 is again a composite number because 10 has multiple factors like 1, 2, 5, 10 and so on. So in this way we can decide whether a particular number is prime or composite. Now you might ask what happened to 1? So if 1 is a prime number or a composite number. Now 1 is not a composite number because it doesn't have more than 2 factors. So it is not composite number. Is it a prime number? Because 1 has only 1 factor. So what would be the factor for 1? 1. So 1 and the number itself. But the number itself is also 1. 
so in this case therefore we cannot really consider one as a prime number as well so what do we say one is neither prime nor composite so one is like an exception to this concept of prime and composite numbers so let us look at these numbers on the screen and decide whether it is a prime or a composite number. So let us start with 56. So what are the different ways we can write 56? It can be written as 1 into 56. It can be written as 2 into 28. It can, do you think it can be divisible by 3? No. It is divisible by 4. 5? No. 6? No. 7? Yes. 7 into 8 is 56. So 8, yes, 8 into 7 is 56. Then 14 into 4 is 56. 28 into 2 is 56. And 56 into 1 is also 56. So considering these, we can say that it has multiple factors. So how many factors it has? 1, 2, 4, 7, 8, 14, 28 and 56. So it has 1 and the number itself. Besides that also it has so many factors. So it has more than 2 factors. Therefore it is a composite number. Consider 1. So just now we discussed about 1 and we found that 1 is an exception. So it is neither prime nor composite. Let's consider 23. So what are the different ways you can write 23? 1 into 23 and 23 into 1. It is not divisible by any other number like 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and so on. So therefore 23 is a prime number. Think of 15. So 15 can be written as 1 into 15. It can also be written as 3 into 5, 5 into 3, 15 into 1. So basically it has more than two factors like 1, 3, 5, 15. Therefore, this is a composite number. Let's look at the last one that is 27. 27 also can be written in many different ways like 1 into 27, 3 into 9, 9 into 3, 27 into 1. So this also has multiple factors and therefore it is composite. So in this fashion, by finding out the factors of a number, we can decide whether that number is a prime number or a composite number. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four-step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.